autonomy in this Oscar defined architecture is going to be a tsunami. That's the level of disruption and possibly destruction it's going to cause across the automotive supply chain. I don't think people realize. One day you're just going to get an update, download the update, and the car just drives perfectly. Welcome to my channel, Rudy Romo here. Today the topic is full self-driving and why I strongly believe it's to the benefit of Legacy Auto, also known as Big Auto, to begin negotiating with Tesla on licensing its autopilot and full self-driving software. I personally think it would be grossly negligent of Legacy Auto not to be in early discussions with Tesla on FSD. Just like it happened recently when Tesla's supercharging network became the standard, it is my firm belief that Tesla's FSD will be adopted as the FSD standard across all or at least most domestic and foreign automakers. Big Auto already has enough disadvantages. They're years behind on EV tech. They have yet to produce a profitable EV. They rely heavily on expensive ads. They have costly and often greedy dealerships and then they have to contend with unions which are too frequently immersed in corruption. I recommend you watch Farsat Mizbahi's video where he issues a warning to American automakers. It's about what they need to do to stay competitive and avoid eventual and certain financial death. I'll leave the link below. As anybody who follows the auto market closely knows, Tesla is the leading automaker in the field of self-driving technology. Their FSD software is based on computer vision, which is simply lower cost and a more scalable approach than the LiDAR-based systems used by other companies like Waymo and Mobileye. Tesla is also further ahead in terms of development, and their FSD software is not geofenced or restricted to certain locations. This means that Tesla vehicles can drive anywhere, not just in select areas that have been mapped out. The next markets to test FSD are Canada, China, and more recently Europe. It's just a matter of time before Tesla's FSD goes global. Tesla has a much larger fleet of vehicles gathering data, which will reach 1 billion miles within weeks. This gives them a huge advantage over other companies who are struggling to collect enough data to train their self-driving systems. Tesla also has the best engineers in the world working on FSD and they have access to Dojo, which is quickly becoming one of the most powerful supercomputers in the world. All of these factors make Tesla the clear leader in the field of self-driving technology. If legacy auto companies want to stay relevant, they better talk to Tesla and fast. Their lives may depend on it. There are a few reasons why it's to the benefit of legacy auto to start the dialogue with Tesla on licensing FSD. First, it would save them a lot of time and money. Tesla has already done the hard work of developing FSD, so Legacy Auto could simply license the software and start using it in their own vehicles. This would allow them to somewhat catch up to Tesla much faster than if they tried to develop their own self-driving system from scratch. Second, licensing FSD would give Legacy Auto access to Tesla's data. This data is incredibly valuable as it can be used to train self-driving systems and improve their performance. Legacy Auto will be able to use this data to accelerate the development of their own self-driving systems. Third, licensing FSD would give Legacy Auto access to Tesla's engineers. These engineers, along with SpaceX engineers, are the cream of the crop at a global level, and they have a deep understanding of self-driving technology. Legacy Auto could gain tons of knowledge from these engineers and improve their self-driving capabilities. Even James Dauma gives Tesla FSD a 25% probability that it will reach level 4 or 5 this year and 50% probability that it happens next year. This will be the point where Tesla accepts liability if the car gets into an accident while FSD is engaged. Tesla is that close. I encourage you to do more research on James Dauma 
where he shares his immense knowledge and experience in software, large language models, automation, robotics, and artificial intelligence in general. For example, watch the interview with John of Dr. Know-It-All and James Dauma. I'll leave a link below. The title is The Future is Unicorns and Rainbows. I also highly recommend you follow the YouTube channel called Hallmark's Catalog. Here you will see how far FSD has come and you also will get Omar Katsi's very well informed opinion of the FSD and the high level of progress it has achieved. Here I share one of Elon's latest posts on the X app where Elon states the following. Vehicle control is the final piece of the Tesla FSD puzzle. That will drop more than 3000 lines of C++ control code by two orders of magnitude. It is training as I write this. Our progress is currently training compute constrained, not engineer constrained. I also recommend you watch Tom Nash's video where he shares that Tesla stock price is grossly undervalued and it should be at $450 a share. I'll leave the link below. As you can see, we have plenty of company when it comes to being positive about Tesla. As mentioned before, I recommend you follow Kathy Wood, Tasha Keeney, Ron Barron, Ross Gerber, Dan Ives, and Gary Black, among others. They are all financial analysts and Tesla bulls who follow each and every move the company makes. Once the news that Legacy Auto plans to license Tesla's FSD go mainstream and get to Wall Street, the stock will surely go vertical, even before FSD goes through all the necessary red tape to become legal. As mentioned in previous videos, regulations will be strictly a matter of time and a formality. If they haven't already, let's hope that Legacy Auto starts negotiating with Tesla on FSD licensing ASAP. If they fail to do that, they may end up in the scrap pile of history, which would be highly detrimental to our economy. Ford and GM have been icons of the American success story. Here's hoping they have a sense of urgency and apply the right strategy not just to survive, but thrive in the new EV and full self-driving world. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe so that YouTube algorithms will get it to more people. If you disagree with any of the points made and or have any suggestions on how to improve future videos, please comment below.